Hi there, this is Anup. Today we are going to talk about a very potential debatable topic. That is nothing but is SSCM aka Configuration Manager is going to die soon? What is the definition of die? Is it end of life? What is Microsoft's plan for end of life of Configuration Manager? Is there any plans for that? What are my thoughts about it? What would be the logic behind keeping SSEM running from Microsoft perspective? And what is the catch in the numbers which Microsoft published a few years back to show Intune managed devices, SSEM managed devices, etc. And more importantly, I'm going to talk about jobs, SSEM jobs. What would be your career path? What are the thoughts from fellow system admins, SSEM admins, what they are thinking? So all these details we will cover in this video. So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and watch it. Let's discuss about SSEM topic today. Whether SSEM is going to die or when is it going to reach end of life? Why SSEM is concentrating only on Windows device management? If you are an SSEM admin, what would be your future job opportunities? We'll discuss all these topics in this video. Let's go to the next slide. This is the main question I always get. Is SSM already dead? No, absolutely not. SSM is fully supported by Microsoft. Now it is part of Microsoft Intune product umbrella and the official name is Microsoft Configuration Manager. And recently product team announced that there's a change in the release cadence of SSM. Earlier, we used to have re release per year now we will only have two releases per year and that would be in March and September so this would be the next release and this would be the baseline version 2403 all the March releases will be baseline version and 18 months support lifespan is there that is not changed so SSEM is not dead at all it is used by many many organizations now many clients are managed by SSEM we'll see more details in the next slide Slide. Before going into the next slide, as per the latest information from the Microsoft product team, they wanted to concentrate on the quality of SSEM releases and they wanted to align with Windows release cadence. These are the two reasons they have provided to change the release cadence of SSEM. SSEM is purely a Windows management solution now, Windows device management solution was slowly SSEM removed support for Linux, Mac devices, etc. So that's why I mentioned SSEM is a Windows device management solution, on-prem Windows device management solution. Now let's go to the next slide. Yeah, that's true. Numbers never lie, but we can play with numbers sometimes. Sometimes there could be some catches. So what is the catch over here? Over here, if you look at the numbers, you can see 2019. Only 5% of the devices were managed by Intune and 95% of the devices were managed by SSEM. In 2020, it's changed to 19% to 81%. In 2021, it is 35 to 65 and in 2022 it is 50 50 what does this mean exactly does this mean 50 percentage of the devices are managed by standalone intune or 50 percentage of these devices are co-managed or cloud attached that is why it is falling under intune i think that is the catch microsoft these are the numbers published by microsoft a few years back but they have not released any numbers stating okay this is standalone intune managed devices but they have confirmed that co-managed cloud attached devices are also considered as intune managed devices and that is true for co-managed devices it is true co-managed devices are managed by both SSEM and intune in my opinion I think the standalone Intune managed devices are less than 50% for sure. So that means most of the devices are still managed by SSEM. Let's go to the next slide. 
So when will be the end of life for SCM? Is SCM slowly going to die? Kind of questions. And first of all, what is the exact meaning of die in this context? It is nothing but end of life. Every product will have its own end of life. Windows XP, Windows 7, all those operating systems had end of life. And SSCM will surely have end of life. But I don't think even Microsoft has any idea when is that going to be. For Microsoft, I think it is more about money and the investment of resources. And it should be futuristic as well. Right. Microsoft's strategy is to move to the cloud and SSCM is an on-prem solution. But if SSCM is still making money, even though with SSCM plus Intune integration, that's fine. And if thousands of organizations are already using SSCM and they are paying for that device management solution, then the end of life is not near. SSCM end of life won't reach until the situation changes. Which situation? If SSCM is used by only few enterprises, maybe very few clients, very few, very few devices, Windows devices, then the money that Microsoft can make out of it is not very significant. At that point of time, Microsoft might think it doesn't worth to keep SSCM support going. So that is where probably Microsoft will take a decision. But I don't think that is near. Many organizations are starting to think about Intune migration, Intune integration. So to fully move away from SSCM this is going to take many, many years for many big organizations. And Microsoft, Microsoft also wanted to make sure that they are not giving away SSCM clients to some other vendors. There is also a risk like that. That also Microsoft needs to consider. Microsoft is fine if it is coming to Intune but not other vendors right so that is why I'm saying SSCM is fully supported it is not dead many organizations are moving to Intune migrating to Intune that migration itself is going to take time so that is all about money resources utilization of SSCM and competition of other device management solutions so that is why Microsoft is kind of still fully supporting SSCM development. SSCM product team is moved to India. So that is also an investment for Microsoft so that they can develop the SSCM product for many years. So I don't think there's any plan to kill SSCM from Microsoft side pretty soon. SSCM will be there until most of the organization who are currently using SSCM are migrated to standalone Intune. So those kind of migrations from SSCM to standalone Intune, it's not a small project for big organizations. It is a multi-year project, maybe five years, three years, four years project. That is why SSCM is still going strong in terms of support. But there's another side of it. We'll see that in the next slide. This is admins perspective and jobs. This is important for the IT admins like us, system admins like us. The previous slides were related to Microsoft support and all the other things were mainly for organizations. What is their strategy when they want to move to cloud and Intune is the best solution for them or not? All those things. That is organization strategy. And most of the organizations wanted to move to cloud. That is the industry standard now. That is why most of them are started migration project. But most of them are using co-management at the moment or cloud attach. That is not standalone in tune. That is a catch. So let's talk about jobs here. As per the survey which we conducted a year back, system admins or SSCM admins are well aware that they need to move to Intune. 62 percentage of them said they need to move to Intune. They want to start learning Intune. If you want to learn Intune, there are a lot of resources from HDMD community. You can click on i button over here in youtube you would be able to get 
lot of videos free training etc from hdmd and i have seen that intune content is more popular than sscm content in recent years since last year i would say intune is the career path for sscm admins and not only for sscm admins even i have seen airwatch admins and all the other mdm admins are also moving to intune because intune is capturing the market not only for windows device management it is for mobile device management so yes there are additional opportunities for sscm admins if we can move to intune so as per our survey sscm admins are already aware of their career path and they know what are the things they wanted to learn etc etc and even if you look at microsoft's learning path or certification you can't find much of sscm content over there it is all about intune because even microsoft wanted admin to get used to intune for the future opportunities now let's go to the next slide now let's have a market check over here whether intune job openings are going up yes intune job openings are going up but most of the organizations are currently looking for sscm plus intune skills okay, they need sscm skill as well as intune skill or any other mdm skills so that they can easily catch up intune these are two examples from the industry you can see microsoft job opportunities in microsoft site for intune there are 83 results whereas for configuration manager or for sscm there is only 23 results and this was one of the big consultancy firms project requirements so if you check this you can see intune opening is 30 whereas sscm opening is only 14 so from this you will get an idea where this is going and where you should be concentrating you should be concentrating on intune related learnings now let's go to the next slide i always get a lot of questions about career path what should be my career path what is your advice on the career path when i started working at that time there was a trend like oh i want to become a people manager after 10 or 11 years or 15 years otherwise there won't be any growth but nowadays this has changed i can see a lot of experienced well experienced technical engineers with 20 years of experience 25 years of experience and they are still happy with their job and technical work they are doing so it's it's your personal choice what you want to become do you want to become a technical architect technical support person or do you want to become a project manager or product manager it is up to your interest if you are not interested in project management if you are interested in technical work then stick with technical and learn new things advance in that if you want to become a project manager continue in that path and same for product management now in all these roles technical involvement is must even in project management project manager should understand technically how the things work from a very high level perspective normally the new product managers should understand how the product works the product managers should be able to do all the technical demos technical presentations and they, they must be able to provide the detailed explanation of their products i must warn you that i'm not a career coach or expert in this matter so this is just sharing of the knowledge that i have with several years years of working in the IT industry. Now that you have seen the video and you got all the details about SCM end of life, is it going to be a slow death and how the journey from SCM to Intune for organizations and for SCM admins, how that is going to work and what you can do as a system admin or SCM admin to choose your career path. What are the goals in your professional career so you might have got a fair bit of idea about all these things in this video hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around